It's 1380C Action News. Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for waking up with us. It is 6.30 on this Thursday morning, June 2nd. I'm James Starks. Sasha has the morning off. We're going to send things over now to meteorologist Ross. It is 60 degrees outside, Ross, much different from where we were 24 hours ago. Now to the battle to save one of America's natural wonders. Wildfires threatening the giant sequoias at Yosemite National Park. The efforts by firefighters to protect those iconic trees and stop the fire spread. It's a potentially pivotal week in Ohio's congressional map situation. The Ohio Supreme Court is set to issue a ruling any day now after the redistricting commission defied its order to draw a new set of state house and Senate maps. Instead, Republicans on the commission resubmitted a map already ruled unconstitutional. A federal court is set to force the state to use those maps for a primary election if the state's map disputes aren't settled by Saturday. Thank you, Erica. New development this morning in the Uvalde school massacre investigation. The school police chief is now off the job as a new lawsuit is filed demanding more transparency. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi is more. Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for waking up with us. I'm James Stark. And as we've reported, the city of Toledo will not allow people to set off consumer grade fireworks for the 4th of July or any other holidays. Now local leaders are explaining the reasons behind that decision. Well, the state law that makes those fireworks legal also allows local governments to opt out. Last night, community leaders of Toledo gathered to talk about the issues that are impacting their community, specifically on the east side of the city. 13 ABC's Ethan Watts is at the East Toledo Family Center with more. Thank you, Eric. This morning, pharmacies are preparing to roll out new shots as the CDC officially recommends Pfizer boosters for children ages 5 to 11. This comes as COVID-19 cases are climbing with new infections involving children at their highest level since February. Eric, well, some new information overnight from the committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol. We're now learning about a timeline for the committee to wrap up its work and then release its findings. And this week, two more witnesses are coming forward. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. Welcome back. It is 6.08 on your Thursday, and here's a live look at Wengen, Switzerland. In the far background, you see the Swiss Alps. And there's a little tidbit also about this place. This is uh, Bern, where Bernese mountain dogs apparently get their name. You knew that, Eric? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Eric is like, yes, I did. Thank you very much. Uh, very picturesque scene there, like a postcard for them uh, this morning. How are we looking in our neck of the woods, Ross? Uh, not very Swiss Alps uh, oh. like uh, today, <laughs> but well, switching gears now, it is 635 and it will be a memorable end to the school year for students at one Northern California school district. It's all because of what was found inside the building on the second to last day of the school year. Take a look at this. Snuggle right there among the laptops and the backpacks is a mountain lion. Well, the officials say it was a cub, not fully grown, but still scary enough that the school was placed on lockdown and officials were called in.